In this video, we will discuss objective questions on broaching. So the very first question, what is broaching? So here you can see the broaching operation. This is nothing but the broach tool which is red in color and this is the workpiece. So the question is what is broaching? The answer is a machining process for removal of a layer of material of a desired width and depth. So the broaching operation is defined as a machining process for the removal of a layer of a material of desired width and depth. Next question. What is the main advantage of broaching over shaping process? So here I will not read all the options. The answer is removal of whole material in one stroke. So the question is, what is the main advantage of broaching over the shaping? So as you know, in shaping process, we are using a single point cutting tool and that single point cutting tool reciprocates over the workpiece. So only very less material is removed in one stroke of the single point cutting tool. Whereas in broaching, we remove the entire material in one stroke. So that is the main advantage of broaching over the shaping operation. That is removal of whole material in one stroke. Next question, for which of the following operation broaching can be used? That is threading, grinding, spline cutting, increasing the size of existing hole of a certain length. So threading is basically used to cut the threads. Grinding operation is used to super finish, uh, to finish the object. Spline cutting, okay, and then increasing the size of existing hole of a certain length. That is that operation is known as boring operation. So. The broaching is basically used for spline cutting. So here you can see the various brooches and the broaching operation is used for spline cutting. Next question, why push type of brooch are made shorter in length? Uh, to reduce the machining type, to increase the efficiency, for easy handling of the tool to avoid the buckling. So here you can see the different types of two different types of broaching that is push type of broaching and pull type of broaching. A push type of broach is used for machining external surfaces whereas a pull type of broach are basically used for machining internal surfaces. Okay. So now the question is why push type of broaches are made shorter in length so the answer is to avoid the buckling so this is an example of push type of brooch okay and it is made shorter in length because to avoid the buckling next question why chip breakers are provided on the brooch okay so here you can see this is nothing but the brooch Okay, here you can see the various teeth on the brooch and this is the chip breakers. Okay, so the chip breakers are provided uh, on the portion which is at the start. Okay, this is, this is, these are nothing but the teeth which is used for finishing operation and these are the teeth at the, at the start of the brooch. Okay, and the chip breakers are provided at the start of the uh, teeth of the brooch. Okay, so here you can see this image, you can see these are nothing but the chip breakers okay so this this is these are the uniform teeth here you can see the uniform teeth sorry here you can see the uniform teeth but here you you are you cannot see the uh, uniform teeth okay because they are provided with the chip breakers now the question is why chip breakers are provided on the brooch so the answer is to break up the wide curling chips next question why next section provided in the pull type brooch are made shorter in diameter okay so here you can see the brooch this is the brooch and this is nothing but the neck of the brooch okay here here you can see this is the neck of the brooch and it is shorter in diameter as compared to your brooch so the question is why neck section provided in the pull type of brooches are shorter in diameter so the answer is to avoid the failure in case of overloading so as your neck is smaller in cross section okay so the smaller diameter means higher stress concentration therefore in case of overloading neck section will fail first and while keeping the workpiece safe next question which of the following cutting tools is used for is used in brooching 
that is single point multi point both a and b no cutting tool is used so the answer is multi point tool so here you can see the brooch and the brooching is done from various points okay so brooch is an example of multi point cutting tool so which type of cutting tool is used in brooching that is multi point cutting tool next question in brooching the whole machining allowance is removed in multiple stroke two stroke one stroke it depends upon the amount of material to be removed the answer is one stroke so in one stroke you are removing the entire material that is the beauty of brooching operation next question which type of falling shapes can be machined by brooching the shaft of the gears grooved component flat surface all of the above the answer is all of the above you can you can machine the shaft of the gears you can produce the grooved component you can produce flat component so brooching is a versatile operation you can produce many geometries with the help of brooch tool next question falling is true for brooching operation that is very high tool cost production rate is high single reciprocating motion is required for cutting all of the above obviously the answer is all of the above so it is a costly operation because your brooch is costlier than the other tools like single point cutting tool drill bits milling cutter then production rate is high because here we are removing the entire material in one stroke so obviously your production rate is high single reciprocating motion is required okay so in one reciprocating motion we are removing the material so all of the above is the answer for this question next question falling type of teeth are the part of tool roughing teeth semi finished teeth finishing teeth all of the above the answer is all of the above so at the start it will have roughing teeth then it will have semi finishing teeth and at the last it will have finishing teeth next question in brooching tool the rake angle of the tooth depends on of the material that is ductility hardness toughness all of the above the answer is all of the above so the rake angle of the tooth depends on the ductility hardness and toughness of the material which is to be machined next question in brooching tool the land of the tool tooth determine its strength surface area thickness all of the above the answer is strength of that brooching tool okay so here you can see the land this portion is known as land of the brooch okay so the question is in brooching tool the land of the tooth determine the strength okay so this land determine the strength of the brooch next question during brooching operation the brooch is pushed pulled either pushed or pulled rotated so the answer is either pushed or pulled because the there are two types of brooch that is push pull and pull push uh, pull sorry there are two type of brooches that is pull brooch and push brooch so during brooching operation the brooch is either pulled or push depends depending on the type of brooch next question following are the brooch materials that is high high speed steel carbide both a and b aluminum oxide so the answer is both a and b that is the brooch either made up of high speed steel or the carbide material next question brooching machines are specified by driving forces length of the stroke both driving forces and length of stroke and height from the base so the answer is both a and b that is driving forces and length of the stroke next question in brooching operation in which the work moves past the stationary tool is called as pull brooching push brooching surface brooching continuous brooching okay so the answer is continuous brooching okay so here you can see the continuous type of brooching now these are nothing but the different work pieces and this is the brooching tool okay so this is the schematic and this is the real example of continuous brooching okay so the brooch the brooching operation in which the work moves past the stationary tool so here you can see your brooch is stationary whereas work piece is moving 
and that is possible in case of continuous broaching next question the height of each tooth of a broach is same throughout in progressively decreasing order in progressively increasing order none of the above the answer is in progressively increasing order so here also you can see the teeth are in progressively increasing order so the answer is in progressively increasing order so these are nothing but top 18 questions which can be asked in the interview which can be asked in your uh, multiple choice exam so thank you so much for watching my video thank you